Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I just got a Hack RF1 unit, the Porta Package 2. And uh, yeah, these things are actually really, really cheap now on AliExpress, $181. Uh, that's US dollars. And I got it within about a week. Um, really nice. And the first thing I had to do was take the thing apart. But why not? You got to figure out what's going on inside. Well, the main reason I took it apart was um, come, really nice metal case. I uh, was really happy about the case. Um, very well built internally. It looks beautiful inside. Um, looks very genuine. It's supposed to be a, actually the Hack RF and Mayhem software. Um, they provided this link to this particular one. So... I figured it was a safe bet to buy this one. Um, yeah, looks really good. Look at that, the hack one. There's the date code on it. Now, the only thing that I found really kind of weird about it was I could hear so something kind of moving around. And here's the battery. The battery was placed like right in there. And then this board, the connector goes like that, was plugged right on top of it. And um, where's the battery connector was? Oh, the battery connector is right there. Now, I also observed there is a speaker connector right there, but there was no internal speaker. So I took a closer look and the case goes together. This slides in. Actually, I'll just show you. There's a metal plate and it, slide, it slides in and it, it took a lot of room. Let me just try to get it in there so you guys can see. Okay, it slides in like that. Okay, you see how much room is in here? Let's try to get a better shot for you. A lot, of, a lot of room between that bottom circuit board and, and the case. However, that metal plate went all the way through. So there wasn't any room for them to actually put the battery in it. <clears throat> okay, there we got it here. <clears throat> so what I actually did is I realized that that circuit board just screws down on those standoffs to this aluminum metal plate. So I took that plate off and I cut it on each end because all you really need is those standoffs uh, to slide in to that case and then there's gonna be plenty of room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place the battery in there. It's gonna be plenty of room. And I got this speaker out of an old uh, old walkie-talkie and I'm going to mount that speaker right in there like that just velcro them in and I'll have onboard sound now it's interesting because the case actually has the holes in the side there for sound to come through but there was no internal speaker but there was a speaker connection so that's where I'm at with this, and uh, I'm going to put it back together, and we're going to show you what the Hacker Rift can do. Um, basically, the Flipper Zero, what it does, it's sub one gigahertz radio system. A lot of what it does is based on the Hack RF1, and uh, yeah, you can do not, not only what the Flipper can do, but you can do so much more with this thing that is scary. Plus the frequency range. I mean, it's a software-defined radio. It can operate from, I think, 1 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz. Um, receive and transmit. Um, some really crazy things you can do with this thing that I almost don't want to even tell you because it's so dangerous. But, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I don't know. I'll put it together with uh, the, the uh, modification here. Hacking the Hack RF. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, I've glued this battery in actually with some Gorilla Glue. That piece of Velcro there is for my speaker, which has Velcro on it. 
Um, this piece here, I've just slid that in the grooves there like that for now. And this piece here has uh, the other piece mounted on there. So basically I'm gonna slide this in just like that. And uh, the wire from the battery will come up. There's room right there. And those three connectors will connect to these three connectors. So this will basically go like that on there. And there is the battery connector right there, which will plug into that. And uh, the speaker, I just soldered the wires directly on there. And there's my speaker, and I'll just pop that down below on the piece of Velcro. And our unit will be all put back together nice with the battery properly secured in there. I can actually show you. See, there's the battery, how it's going to be in there. Lots of room. We could actually put a larger battery in there if we wanted to. There's so much room now with the way I've cut that plate like that. Okay, guys, I'm going to put it together and then we're going to take it for a test spin and we'll see what we can do. Oh, there we go, guys. Uh, got the speaker inside there and I'm listening to uh, some radio station here. Look at that, eh? <laughs> anyway, really cool what we can do with this uh, Hack RF. Uh, well worth the money, I think, uh, less than $200. Let's go, let's, this is cool. Let's see what planes are, uh, flying around. And there we go, those are flights nearby. And if we go down here, let's see. Oh, tells us more information about that flight. See on map, no oh, map. Hmm. Well, a lot of interesting things you can do with one of these things. So. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay. So a quick little rundown of the transmitter section on a Hack RF. And there we go, guys. We can actually transmit ADSB data. That is so scary. This is what you, you, you do if you want to go to prison for a really long time, mess around with uh, radar data on planes. Look at that. It's actually got already pre-programmed with an altitude of 36,000 feet. Um, so just put your latitude longitude in and uh, a fake aircraft number and a squawk. Wow, that's just like really like, holy crap put a fake squawk in, look what your airspeed is, transmit that. Guys, do not do this. This is like really bad. Um, yeah, you, you could get in so much shit with the FAA doing, playing around with that. But okay, so there's other cool things on there. Oh, okay, GPS simulation. That would be a cool one to play with. Um, if you put the proper GPS satellite frequency in. You, you could uh, send uh, basically bogus uh, GPS data, kind of like what the Russians do, what they're doing um, to confuse uh, GPS tracking devices. Um, yeah, so that, yeah, we could probably play around with that another time. The jammer, the key fob, whatever. Uh, Morse code. Okay, burger, pagers. If you want to play around with restaurants, the pagers and restaurants. There you go. Um, yeah, okay, so the Puxag. This is really cool. This is a pager system, and the flipper actually has the Puxag pager. I think it can actually transmit with the, the flipper too. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start it up. Okay, we've got to be on the same frequency. I'm on three... 315 and okay so we'll go like that and we want to be I'll go down here alphanumeric and see what it says it's already got a prescriptive message port a pack so I'm going to transmit that and there it is there 
the flipper picked it up. And there it is, port a pack. Here's my paged message. So let's uh let's change that. Let's change that message. Set message. Put a space in there and we'll it will be that the hacker. There we go. Okay, let's transmit that. Let's check the message. Oh, yep, there it is. Port-a-pack hacker. Okay, guys, I think it's time for a pizza. <laughs>